Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can do a write-on effect inside of Adobe Animate. So when I'm talking about a write-on effect, I mean to take each character in a phrase and to make it appear on screen one character at a time. So by the end of a short animation clip, every character will be written onto the screen, but it will be done one at a time. Now, of course, you could do the reverse, which would be to write off. Basically, instead of making them appear, you make them disappear one at a time. It's the same basic idea either way. So to make my life a little bit easier here, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline so that we're dealing with probably 15 or 20 frames. Uh, one frame for each character. You could have it appear once every two frames or once every one frame. Depends on how fast you want everything to appear. Also, keep in mind how fast your timeline is actually going to be playing back at. So with this text I've already written, I'm going to actually break it into separate pieces for every character here. And how you do that is to select your text box and to hit Control B. And what that does is it splits every character into its own separate object. So now, as you can see, I can select each character individually, but it also makes it easy to manipulate them in ways such as deleting each character individually. So now I'm going to duplicate this text over a whole bunch of keyframes. So I'm going to left click on the 20th frame or somewhere around there and then go back to the first frame hold down shift and left click again to select all the frames at once and then I'm going to right click in the timeline and do convert to keyframes. So this is going to basically duplicate that text over all of these frames and currently it's exactly the same on every frame. I'll also right click on the background and insert frame at the 20th frame just so that it still has that black background all the way across. So now on the first frame for this right on effect animation, I'm going to click on it and using the selection tool, which you can select in the top right hand corner or hit the hotkey V, I'm going to drag a box around all of the characters except for the W. First though, so I don't accidentally select the background, I'm going to lock that layer. So the only thing that's selectable is now these text characters. So for the first frame, we want one letter to appear. So I'm going to delete every character except for that first one. I'm going to hit period on the keyboard to move to the next frame and I'm going to delete every character except for the first two. And I'm going to go to the third frame and I'm going to delete all of the characters except for the first three. And you get the idea here. Uh, it becomes a little bit tedious, but by using the hotkeys, it's not too hard to go and proceed on each of these characters. So just quickly wrapping this up now, period, delete, period, delete, period, delete. Uh, actually, I think, okay, one more. And then these extra frames that I don't really need, I can just go ahead and remove these. So I'm going to clear those keyframes. And now we might want, let's say, the first frame to actually start a little bit further past the first frame of the video itself. So I'll drag that over and I'll make sure that the background is there from the start to finish. And now if we actually play back in the timeline, it should start writing on the text one frame at a time until it's completely written and then remain in that completely written state at the end. So I'm going to hit play here and it almost looks like it's correct, but there's one frame where I accidentally forgot to delete that's here. So I can actually right click and remove that frame that will automatically move everything to the right of it over to the left. So now if I play it back, there shouldn't be that error. So I'm going to hit play one more time. And we can see that the animation writes on the text as we would expect. Now that might be too quick for you. So what you can do to half the speed without having the speed of your entire timeline is to take each of these keyframes and move them one space over and then grab all of the keyframes except for the previous one and move them one over and so on and so forth, basically making each keyframe only animate once every two frames. So I'm just going to keep dragging these over. And that should give us our final result. So I'll play this back one more time. And now that it's been slowed down, it's a little bit easier to track the effect as it goes on the screen. And that's pretty much all there is to it. One bonus thing I'll mention here is that if you do ever want to say change all of those characters all at once, for all of the frames simultaneously. You could enable edit multiple frames here and then make sure that you can select all of these frames at once. And then you can select all of these characters across all of the frames change it from static text to dynamic text, for instance, and then maybe add a blur effect. So by selecting all of the frames at once, we're actually able to apply that effect to every character 
on every frame all at once, which can be a really big time saver if you ever need to edit your text again. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys learned a bit. If you want to see more Adobe Animate content, be sure to let me know with a comment, and I will see you guys in my future video content.